Hey, this is Laquan Williams, and in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the episode uh, of The Flash that just happened a couple days ago on Tuesday. It is season 7, episode 10, and it's called Family Matters Part 1. There will be a part 2 next week, obviously, continuing on where um, this episode left off, which at the end of this, this episode, we saw the um, Speed Force take down um, Psyche um, and also uh, everybody on the team except um, Cisco and um, Barry Allen. And, um, obviously, um, Chester, who was not in the episode, but, um, 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 Barry's wife, obviously, Iris, was taken down, um, the Speed Force took her down, uh, Barry was, uh, trapped and paused because Dion, who is the time god, snapped his fingers and froze Barry in time so he couldn't do anything, so she, he did what, um, the Speed Force wanted to. At the end of the last episode, which is episode 9, Dion said he wasn't scared of the Speed Force, and he said, you're going to have to do what you have to do, but I'm not moving. So she basically said, I can kill you whenever I want, but instead of fighting her like he said he was going to, and he said he wasn't scared of her, at the beginning of this episode, it continued on to show that he actually is working with her, saying, sorry, Barry, I had no choice. He actually did. He wants to stay alive, but instead of helping Barry and the rest of the team, he decided to... Um, cowardly bow down to the speed force and help her obviously take out um, Iris, the strength for force, um, Psyche, and also I believe Allegra was hit too if I'm not mistaken. Cisco and Barry were the only people who weren't affected and also um, Chester P who was not in this episode will be in the next week's episode if I'm not mistaken. He will be back um, and also uh, who, who, um, somebody who was also not affected was um, uh, um, Kate Frost who was obviously um, A.K. Killer Frost, who's obviously a, a Caitlin, excuse me, Caitlin Snow, A.K. Kill, uh, who's also Killer Frost. She was not affected at all, so we'll see what happens with that. Um, also, there has been some uh, obviously developments with Cisco showing him uh, Camila's uh, Camille, his girlfriend's foreshadowing for them leaving Central City and Team Flash, going to Miami. They're gonna travel the world. They'll be out after season uh, seven, episode twelve. That's what it's staying on here on on this. Um, this article that's on screenrad.com, he's going to be gone. His girlfriend is obviously working with this citizen who is Iris uh, West, obviously main photographer. Their journalistic website and their investigative journalist, obviously, um, whole entire organization. She is there, obviously, with her. It's them, basically. She's the photographer. She's going to be leaving the show. Her as Cisco's girlfriend. They're going to be moving to uh, uh, Miami, she said, and also possibly San Francisco to travel. So we're seeing with that. Um, the strength force, the strength force, has joined Barry and the rest of the team. Alexa or Alexis has joined them and decided that she wants to learn how to harness her powers so she can um, help them obviously protect herself and obviously help her take down the Speed Force. Psych, who also is right here, has joined the team after they he was um talked down at the end of the episode to join the team and turn over and relief in order for him to save not only himself but everybody else obviously for them to join together and um, take down the speed force at the end of the episode uh, for this week which is season 7 episode 10 title family matters the speed force came out of nowhere attacked the whole team and um, it looks like she zapped them all so I don't know if everybody's dead except Iris obviously in Allegra but the speed force the speed force took out uh, the strength force uh, and also psych and everybody else um, also Allegra and Iris was affected as well so we'll see what happens with that um, so it's uh, explaining um, I'm exp showing you these articles here of what's been going on in the flash and like I said Cisco's leaving Carlos Valdez is leaving the show after him being on the show since the beginning um, main cast member original cast member um, also, right here, um, we have a, some other, obviously, news, which I showed last week, which Tom Cavanaugh, who's played Harrison, Nash Wells, Harrison Wells, Thawne, Reverse Flash, all those characters, he, um, uh, this is, that he, he plays them all, wears the same face, he, um, he, he, obviously, he uses different accents for each of them, obviously, he, for, throughout time, obviously, he, he's also a time traveler as well, he is going to be leaving as well, his episode stopped a couple weeks ago, so, he, um, he actually, he was on last week's episode, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he was. Yeah, but he's gone. Um, they'll be back in season, obviously, eight, um, which looks like it might be the final season for The Flash. Um, they'll be back in a couple episodes, obviously, to, you know, help out the rest of the team and stop whatever threat they're going to be taking on. Obviously, characters leave and come back. Even if they die, they get to come back to life. We brought back to life because these shows are obviously dealing with mystic, um, magical, um, obviously elements. They're superhero shows, and we know that's what happens. And also something to see that we also um, 
wanted to, I wanted to talk about was it says that Danielle P- uh, Panabaker, who plays Caitlin Snow, aka Killer Frost, might be leaving the show after this season seven as well. We don't know if that's official. This is Alexa right here who plays this this uh, Strength Force, aka Fuerza. That's the nickname they gave her. They said that Danielle Panabaker might be leaving the show as Caitlin Snow, aka Killer Frost, after we saw a couple weeks ago where Killer Frost and her who are no longer together as one sentient being they were split into two and they are two different people now she was thrown into jail for the rest of her life and she is no longer uh going to be on the show apparently but there might be some type of way to they did they they written her out that way there might be some type of way to bring her back and i don't know if she's gonna escape prison or something i don't know the season's not over yet so we'll see what happens but as of right now tom cavanaugh and carlos valdez will not be in the rest of the show um for the rest of the seventh season um, Carlos Valdez's last episode was supposed to be titled Seven. Uh, it's supposed to be called Goodbye, Goodbye, Goodbye Vibrations, aka Goodbye Vibe. His his nickname, a superhero named Vibe. He no longer has his powers. He gave them up uh, a la- uh, about two seasons to go. Yeah, to be. Uh, I think it was season six, obviously, to be with Camila, Camilla, who is his girlfriend, to have a normal life. So that was obviously the first step to show it. He met Camila. The, the second thing was he he uh, took the metahuman gene cure to get rid of his power so he no longer has them anymore. And obviously the third step is them deciding that uh, they're going to leave Central City after she uh, uh, um, admitted to him that she's getting a job interview over in San Francisco. It's a big, huge deal, and she wants to take it. Take it and move and she said that she wants to leave he said he wants to leave the city too but he's gonna tell the rest of the team so that's what we're going to be seeing so that season um that episode is called season seven episode 12 goodbye vibrations your good vibrations you know basically and also including and and i'm uh it says that right here that I'm uh, basically we'll read right here on ScreenRant.com. The Flash foreshadowed the real season, the real reason Cisco uh, leaves in season seven as Carlos Valdez is exiting the Arrowverse this year. The Flash season seven foreshadows Cisco Ramon's r- reason for leaving this team. Team Flash and also Central City. As Carlos Valdez's character Cisco Ramon is set to leave, uh, leave the Flash after se- season seven, the Arrowverse drama has begun to foreshadow the DC superheroes, the DC heroes' upcoming exit as one of Team Flash's original members. He will soon bid adieu with the rest of the show. With Valdez leaving the show after the ongoing season, as will Tom Cavanaugh's uh, Harrison Wells will as well. Harrison Wells, he will also be leaving the show. The Flash episode, which is going to be season seven, which they're currently in, titled um, Good Vibrations, it's going to be episode 12, will be Cisco's final episode from the sounds of the official hypnosis um, or hypnosis. Whether or not Cisco will make any further appearances this season, including the show's uh, monumental 150th episode, which will see Barry Allen's kids, Bart Allen, and also his daughter, Nora Allen, come in back from the dead or some type of way and Bart Allen coming back from the future coming from the future to help them out and take it on some big huge threat will be happening that's going to be in the 150th episode it remains to be seen as uh, whether Cisco is uh, close to his exit the flash season 7 addressed an unresolved plot point relating to his character um, so basically that's what it was expl- explaining what's going on like I said I'm obviously Camilla and him are gonna be leaving Star City and moving ar- around and traveling and um, we'll see what happens with that he wanted the normal life that's why he left he said um, it, he gave up his powers now he was going to be leaving Star City and the team flash all together um, it's uh, basically that you kind of s- see this with um happening with Daniel Pennebaker Pen- Pen- they get rid of Killer Flash they make her and um, in- Killer Flash um, excuse me, they make her and Killer Frost um, two different characters. Now, instead of them being one, obviously sharing one body, they split them into two different characters. They written Killer Frost out of the series because they put her in jail. She didn't take the metahuman gene cure, so she gets to keep her powers and still be who she is. But uh, now they're saying, obviously, like I said, this was four days, uh, six to five days ago on uh, WeGotThisCover.com saying that she might leave the show after this season is over as well. We don't know. Her replacement will most likely be Alexa, a.k.a. Fuerza, who is the strength force. Cisco P, um, excuse me, Chester P, who has glasses. He is the the, um, the black guy who has glasses, who is also a tech guy as well. He was not in this week's episode, He will, which is episode uh, um, 10, season 7, um, episode 10. He'll be on next week's episode. He was brought in to do what Cisco is doing. He does exactly what he does. So, obviously, they let you know. This is going to be Cisco's replacement since he's leaving the show, and him and Camilla are going to be moving to um, 
uh, San Francisco and obviously traveling through Miami. That's what they had Cisco say in this episode that he wants to go to Miami. He loves the weather and he loves the Miami heat and he, he wants to go down there and visit. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, that's basically what's going to be um, taking place with that um, that show. Um, um, obviously, well, the, this show for the rest of the season and whatnot for the future. We'll see what happens. Um, the show was um, very cool. Um, the episode was cool, but I, what I've been seeing, obviously, for the past couple of weeks and what I've been saying and what I don't like, and a lot of people have been saying themselves, The Flash um, has turned season seven to basically have like a, a title that kind of sticks to it. This is kind of similar to what happened with the Green Arrow a couple of years ago. I think it was Green Arrow season five, where the theme and the overall um, repeated phrase was always um, well, that phrase was was um, general tone was and it was a phrase. It was it was um, titled, I believe, um, not titled, but people called it that. But it wasn't official. It was like a fan thing for to express your frustration with it. It was called season five. Like people were saying the darkness because Green Arrow. Um, Oliver Queen kept Queen kept saying the darkness, the darkness. You know when the darkness it takes over you, and everybody was saying on the show, the darkness, the darkness. That was a, obviously annoying for some people. I didn't even realize until I, the, the season was kind of over when I kind of caught on to that. But this is similar to that, where the reoccurring theme is not something to talk about um, as far as a, a, a saying, but it's this. This season of the Flash should be called the Flash season seven. Um, the negotiators, because this is literally like something that's always ha- been continuing to happen every week. Team Flash is negotiating with every supervillain. Please don't jump off the ledge and be the the continued evil person that you are. We know there's good in you. Star Wars, uh, Empire Strikes Back, um, obviously, and also uh, going into Return of the Jedi when Darth Vader was told by Luke Skywalker. Um, um, excuse me, yeah, when Darth Vader was told by Luke Skywalker, Father, I see the good in you, you don't have to do this, you don't have to turn to the dark side, and he explained to Darth Vader, Darth Vader explained to Luke Skywalker, his son, you don't under, you don't understand the power of the dark side, you do can't underestimate it, basically that, so it's been very annoying, um, this episode also saw Psyche and also, um, Fuerza, aka Alexa, arguing back and forth with each other like they were actual siblings, when they're not, they don't know each other, but they're making it so that they are, like, He's basically doing the kind of like, you know, the kid game. I know you are, but what am I? I'm rubber, your glue, whatever I say bounces bounces off to me and sticks to you. That's been very annoying. Um, also, the negotiator, like I said, it, it literally it's called, the, it's just, this should be called the negotiator. I think there was a movie with Samuel L. Jackson called that, if I'm not mistaken. I've seen it a couple of times, uh, but whatever. Anyways, that's what, this, that's what the season should be called. Season 7 of The Flash, uh, the, the negotiators, they're talking down every villain, and instead of throwing them in jail or destroying them, they're saying, you know what, just walk away, and this will all be resolved, and this this whole this whole solution can be solved. Um, and even though Psyche has tormented people and almost driven them to obviously uh, take their own, obviously, life, it seems like they were able to talk him down from uh, being evil and joining the team. They talk down Ava Sharp, who is also the Mirror Master, she's still out there, but she will be back in some type of capacity. She went back to her quote unquote mirror verse, and obviously she said um, she needs to go repair that, and she'll be back. They try to talk down Abracadabra. It didn't work, but the Strength Force t- took him out, so he's gone for good. Uh, well, at least the Abracadabra of this current um, uh, timeline and on the Earth that they're on now, after what happened with obviously. The crisis on Infinite Earths, a situation where they they all merged type kind of together. So he's gone. Um, they talked down Ava Sharp. They t- they talked down Psych. Now they're trying to obviously do the same thing with uh, the Speed Force. And obviously that's not gonna happen because she's tired. She wants everybody out of her way so she can do her own thing. But that seems to be the general occurring theme of this season. Um, as it's like I said, it should be titled see the Flash. She's season seven. Team Flash. Um, or as the negotiator, something like that. But either way, that's what it is. Like, and you obviously can't do that with every villain, and you obviously could, shouldn't be able to. It's either they have to be destroyed, or they go to jail for the rest of their lives in some black hole site, where obviously in, in Argus, where people can't find them, obviously, and where they can't do any harm to people. That's what they did to Killer Flash Frost. She's now going to be in jail for the rest of her life, probably in Argus prison. Where she can't hurt anybody. Uh, uh, that's what they were saying. That she's a danger to the public. Even though she's mad for her mistakes. She admitted she was wrong. She apologized. She never killed uh, killed anybody. She only robbed people. That's basically it. But they're basically that's basically what's going on right now. So that's been very annoying. The, episode, the season has been fun. Obviously like I said. But this has been a general occurring theme. It's been getting very annoying. I hope that um, 
obviously, and that's not that seems to not be the case. They they talked down psych this year, week too. Um, Iris West said, "You know what? I can talk to him. I know how to know what to say to him to get him to stop." They said they're trying. They're going to do the same thing to Nora West Allen. It was a well. It's not her. It's um, the Speed Force, but she's taken the form of Barry Allen's mother, Nora uh, Nora Allen. Excuse me, not Nora West Allen. Nora Allen. Uh, Iris West Allen is is obviously his wife. But um, uh, we'll see what happens with that. This see, episode, we also saw uh, Captain Joe West, who's also Iris's father, leave the um, the police force as the main captain over there. He's gone because the lady from the government who was back, who tried to take down Killer Frost, obviously, and to give her the human gene cure a couple weeks ago, she was actually back, surprisingly. I thought she was gone. We all did. She popped back up and said, Oh, no, I'm just trying to make sure that things go right and whatnot, and I'll, I'll be, I'll be um, on your side and whatnot. So basically what happened was she basically went behind Joe West's back and she bought these new big, huge, just like on Black Lightning, how they have damp, D-E-G, dampening energy guns to use against the superheroes on the show, such as Black Lightning, his family, and the rest of the meta metahumans in Freeland. She has guns that have bullets that have the metahuman gene cure in them. So if any metahumans, superheroes on the show get shot at that, they'll lose their powers or whatnot. And it obviously can possibly kill them. So that's what she did behind Joe West's back. Joe West found out about that. He said, I try to give you a second chance, but you know what? This is your decision to make. I'm going to make my own decision. He turned his badge and gun in and said he's leaving. He's going to be on the right side of uh, logic and obviously, um, I would say, um, uh, hum humane. Uh, uh, obviously, um, I would say um, feelings, not, not humane feelings. He, basically, he, he said he's going to be on the right side of the law the side of logic and obviously understanding. He said, you want to just run out guns blazing, shoot people, ask for, shoot first, ask questions later. We don't do that. We de -es we try to de-escalate the issue before things get out of hand. That's what he says he does. She says that, you know what, I have to do this my way. So basically what happens is Joe West is trying to make sure that he saves himself a whole lot of problems and issues because if things go bad, obviously with, um, the, uh, the 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 police force and obviously the whole entire team and unit there. She's going to be the one um, that will be put in, uh, obviously to blame. She'll be the one in charge. She'll be the one responsible for it. He won't be. So she obviously gets obviously all the blame, which is what obviously he wants to do in order for her to get out of there. Because obviously she's trying to wage war on the meta humans in the whole entire city, and Joe West is obviously not okay with that. Now them pulling out guns randomly out of nowhere, with um bullets that have the metahuman gene cure in them that can obviously not only take the powers away from the superheroes on the, on the Flash, but obviously potentially kill them as well. So that's something that would happen as well. And we'll see what happens on, on the rest of the show. But I mean, it's been uh, the rest of the season. Season 7's been okay. Like I said, it's, um, the first couple episodes um, were okay. But I, I think um, the one with Africa Dabber was really good. Uh, the one Killer Frost, the trial was very, very good. The, the, they they kind of had uh, last week how they had that storyline kind of play out. How Caitlin Snow was doing everything that she could to make sure she saved Killer Frost, even though Killer Frost said she doesn't mind going to jail for the rest of her life. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, so that's basically it. Um, we'll see what happens with the rest of the show. Like I said, there's lots of news happening, people leaving. So we'll see what happens and people coming back as well. Like I said. And uh, new characters, like I said, Bart Allen is going to be on Barry Allen's son from the future, I believe. And Nora, uh, Nora, his daughter, is supposed to be coming back, if I'm not mistaken. I believe that's what, what her name was. Um, yeah, she's supposed to be coming back. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, so, um, yeah, she'll be back to uh, Jesse Quick and um, Kid Flash are gone. Wally West, no sign of them. They haven't talked about that at all. So we'll see what happens with that. That's going to be what's going to take place with that. With the rest of the season it obviously happens. Carlos Valdez and obviously and Tom Cavanaugh are going to be leaving uh, after this episode season's before the season even is over. As you can see right here, uh, this is on deadline from uh, May fourth. The Flash's original cast members, Tom Cavanaugh and Carl Carlos Valdez, are exiting the show after seven seasons. Um, they'll be gone before the season uh, finale for this season is over. Um, and it's also rumored that Daniel Pan Panabaker, who was obviously another original cast member on the show from the beginning, who plays Caitlin Snow and also Killer Frost, will be leaving as well. That's a rumor. That has not been confirmed yet. But we'll see what happens with that. Uh, if you have not watched The Flash, um, let me know what you think about it. If you have seen this current episode uh, that just was came out a couple days ago. 
And obviously, if you had, you checked out a couple of years ago or just last season because you couldn't take the writing or the storylines or if you thought it was bloated, let me know what you have to think about that. That's all I have to say about this in regards to um, the current news of the, the season seven. Obviously, what take, what's going to take place in the future for the show, which will be the upcoming season eight and possibly final season of the show. Uh, everybody has signed on, uh, including Grant Gustin. But like I said before, obviously... Grand Gustin's right here. Um, you can see um, that people are leaving, and it's rumored that obviously it's confirmed they're leaving. It's Tom Cavadon and obviously Carlos Valdez, but Daniel Penn Baker is rumored to be leaving as well. Hopefully that's not the case, but we'll see. But they, they, they did write Killer Frost out of the picture, so one less part of her is gone. So we'll see what happens with that, and obviously um, what will be taking place. But that, that's all I have to say about this in regards to the review of this week's episode of The Flash which was Season 7, Episode 10, titled Family Family Matters Part 1. Family Matters Part 2 will be airing next week, and that's the, also what I talked about, including news from the show, obviously, like I said, you know, obviously confirmed news that people are leaving the show, obviously these two original characters right here. So and, um, so we'll see what happens to that. It's unfortunate, for, very unfortunate that they're leaving, but they'll be back in other episodes and to, re, to come back and help the team in some type of capacity. So we'll see what happens with that in the near future, obviously, which will be next year, obviously, the uh, Season 8 for The Flash. So thanks again for watching my video. Let me know what you have to think about this. And you can leave your comments to, down below and your questions if you have anything uh, that you wanted to ask me. Thank you again for watching, and that's all I have to say about this. Thank you, and goodbye.